one's going to get a little bit difficult because we look at this and we know that, all right, automatically, first thing we want to do is break it up. So what, um, what Wendy will do is she'll break this up and she'll say, all right, that, that can be the fourth root of 8 divided by the fourth root of 9a cubed. Now, you're really, really going to want to follow this, guys, because this is a little bit different than the last problem, and it and it's, might get a little confusing. The fourth root of 8, what number multiplied by itself 4 times equals 8? Do we have a value for that yet? Is anybody having a value? No, right? I, I don't know. There's no even number that works for that. Then we try to simplify the fourth root of 9a cubed. Well, what number multiplied by itself 4 times gives you 9? Don't have one. What number multiplied by itself 4 times gives you a cubed? Don't have one, right? So then you could say, all right, well, we're done. But do we ever leave a radical in our denominator? No, right? What happens when we had an answer that looked like this? Does anybody remember what the next step, Paige, do you remember what you do? If, if, I, if you did a problem in a test and you got an answer like this, do you remember what you had to do? No? Zach, do you remember? Kevin, do you remember? Um, multiply, multiply by what? Square root of 2, right? You can, we don't, we don't want to divide by an irrational number. So we worked on rationalize the denominator. So we multiplied by square root of 2 over square root of 2. That didn't change the answer. What it does is just changes the fraction. So now we have the square root of 2 over the square root of 2 squared. Well, what happens when you take the square root of 2 squared? You get 2, right? You don't have a square root anymore. Okay? So therefore, you're not dividing by an irrational number, which is cool. So the problem over here, you might say, is, well, then what do you think you'd want to multiply by, Japonica, if I was just going to make a random guess? What do you think you'd want to multiply this by? Well, the fourth root, because we're doing fourth roots. So you want to do the fourth root of 9a cubed, right? Following what you did here, that makes perfect sense, correct? And I need to, everybody to listen to this, Ken, because this is where it gets a little bit tricky. This makes sense following what we learned here. But here's where it's going to change. Guys, when I multiply this across, I get the fourth root of 8 times 9a cubed. Then I have the fourth root of 9. 9 times 9 is 9 squared. And a cubed times a cubed is a to the sixth. Can you take what number multiplied by itself four times gives you 9 cubed, nine squared? Do we have that yet? No. What mul number multiplied by itself four times gives us 8 to the 6? Well, we can actually can simplify that. But um, actually, no, we can't. We can't multiply that by a product of 4. So ladies and gentlemen, what we need to get, we need to get these numbers raised to 4 or a multiple of 4. Rather than multiplying it by 9, does anybody have an idea that could get us to 9 to the fourth power? So if we already have 9 here, or we already have 9 here, I, what do I need to multiply this by so it's going to be 9 to the fourth power? Anybody? How about this? What about, rather than multiplying it, what Japonica said, which makes sense, how about instead of multiplying by exactly what this is, we multiply it by 9 cubed? Why would you want to multiply it by 9 cubed? Well, let's look at it. What's 9 times 9 cubed? 9 to the fourth power. Can we now simplify the fourth root of 9 to the fourth power? Yes. So if I have a cubed, what would I want to multiply that by to give us um, a? So let's just multiply this by a. right? Because now a cubed times a gives us a to the fourth power. Can I now simplify the fourth root of a to the fourth? Yeah, of course. So now I have the cube or the fourth root of nine uh, cubed. So nine cubed. Could somebody do nine cubed and then multiply it by eight? Huh? Because I'm multiplying it by nine cubed. You have to multiply whatever you multiply in your denominator. You. Oh, it's A. I, I didn't erase this when I did my original problem. Sorry. So that's it right there. Does that make sense where I'm at right here? OK. So we do 9 cubed. I don't know 9 cubed off the top of my head. So 9 cubed is 729, and then times 8. All right. And then I'm just going to go and check to see 
if I can take the fourth root of that, which I can't. So I'm just going to leave my answer as 5,832 a over, we already figured out the fourth root of 9 to the fourth is just 9, and the fourth root of a to the fourth is just a. Now, we might be able to simplify this further, but for right now, I don't, I don't have the answer right in front of me to go through this. But you might want to see if there's any numbers, fourth root of numbers, that you can divide into that. But I'm pretty sure that's going to be your uh, finalized answer. OK? Gracias. OK, almost done.